Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Computex 2024. We're down here at the Montec booth and a massive thank you to Montec for actually sponsoring this video to go through, as always, the masses of cases that they are actually showing off. And Montec is one of my favorites because PC building, PC cases, and when they have so many different varieties, all, to be honest, at more budget-friendly prices, it's always something to behold. We're gonna kick off with what was actually now a revision. They will be selling the King 95, which was this like big curved case that we built in a few months ago. It's been really popular, you guys seem to like it. But they're actually doing a revision to this to make it even bigger now and they say that the reason for this is not only to give you more options but also to sort of allow for higher TDP graphics cards that may or may not be coming in the future. So it's actually the same width as before but now it's a little bit longer, a little bit taller and you get a massive seven fans included as stand on this which is pretty wild and you can also angle the fans towards the graphics card so I don't know, last time it was rumored that we we're gonna get 600 watt GPUs, but if that actually happens this time, obviously you will need that better cooling and the whole idea there is to give you that. So definitely a quite interesting case if you liked the King 95, but you didn't think it was quite big enough. I do also wanna shout out this mod that they've got here. I don't normally do this, to be honest, because there are so many and they're all so cool, but this is a water cool PC. It's meant to be like post-apocalypse and there's literally water that comes out of the cooling at the top and goes back and flows through. Never seen anything like that, not sure how practical it would be in a uh, home environment but uh, at the show that is incredibly cool let's talk you through the rest of the booth though as you can see i've got it all to myself which is quite nice and there's loads of like pretty pretty wild things actually i mean i think the most unusual case here is this one it's called the hs01 mini and this one isn't necessarily going to be coming out for a while it's the end of the year i believe there's still some revisions potentially to be done a lot of these aren't necessarily final so if you have any feedback let us know down in the comment section below and i'm sure montec will see it but this is obviously a micro atx chassis it's a little bit smaller but they're using this leather appearance it's not real leather so i believe it's vegan friendly as well and it definitely stands out doesn't it regardless of whether it's a bit of a marmite case love it or hate it it's always nice to see companies doing things that are completely different i'm not sure whether i would actually trust the strap that's not to say it won't work but I mean can you imagine building like an RTX 4090 gaming PC and like holding it around with a strap even if it works I still think I would be a little bit nervous I'm going to be holding it like this but I, I really like as I say that they're doing something different that is the HS01 mini but this is the HS01 and I love the color on this I wish more companies would do this sort of like gunmetal gray bit more silvery and you've got two 120s at the back as well which actually gives it a lot more presence makes the whole thing look a little bit taller than it otherwise is which is quite nice you've got some 120s on the front as well this little light bar I think this is actually the chassis that if I take this apart there is actually the RGB on the glass itself, or at least the light bar is attached. And then you've got these little pins down the bottom here, or the pins I should say are actually on the case. And then you've got the connection there. That's something we have not seen before, at least I've not tested personally. And it's really easy, really tallest. So little things like this, iterations to make cases better and better, really nice and the hs01 is going to be their new sort of case that they change every year they say so everyone will be better than the last one i asked what would happen if people really liked the previous years but they said they're just going to keep making it better so it's not going to be like hopefully anyway it's not going to look really different every year uh, it will look similar to this but get better and better well, let's open this up though and have a quick look inside again as you can see this is still a prototype i like cases that do have a fair amount of thickness here as well because we like to use rgb hubs and things it looks Looks as if they're going to incorporate this in there, but as I say, still prototype stage. But for the target price of around about $99, I think this is definitely offering quite a lot. Again, build quality and stuff, very good. Montek always sort of punching above the weight, really, when it comes to the price point. They've got a fully built up system here as well, so you can see what it will look like. But I will say at the back, they are still working at the way to incorporate the fans into the chassis as well, because obviously you're not gonna have it like this. I guess it would be like a mesh covering or something like that. But yeah, it looks pretty pretty edgy and available at a very good price. Let's have a look at some of the other cases that we've got here though. We've got the Sky 3, we just saw the Sky 2 a few months ago. We've got this curved glass on the front, but one of the new things for this year is that again, they're sort of trying to cater for higher TDP graphics cards. So they've actually got this little mesh down the bottom. There's a couple of, oh, there's a couple of? 
There's a couple of uh, 80 mil fans down here. And normally I'd say I'm not a massive fan of smaller 80 mil fans because obviously they can run a little bit louder to do the same amount of airflow. It shouldn't be too bad and they assure me it's going to run quietly and obviously you can turn them down and you've still got loads of airflow on this as well. It's kind of like the compromise you have to make is like the middle ground between still having like this glass front where you can see in with this lovely curved glass but then the maximizing the airflow possible with the space they have and then that channel that will push all of the air up into the graphics card. It's quite a nice idea actually, it's almost a little bit like a hybrid approach. But to be fair, if you do want full airflow and you like the look of this light style, then they've got the Sky 3 Performance. So obviously the curved glass is now gone. It's like this solid panel here, but is the front where things get really interesting because they've actually incorporated some wood into the design, which is quite nice. Something a little bit different. We know more case manufacturers are doing this, but I quite like the look of this one, actually. It's kind of a bit more natural, I suppose. It's integrated subtly uh, without going like full wood and, well, making a PC case really expensive. But potentially my favorite case here is actually this one. This is the King 65 Pro. So as you'd expect, it's similar to the King 95, but obviously it's smaller. It's done away with the curved glass, not the end of the world, because obviously to me that brings the price down and I think for a lot of people it makes it more accessible. But this does not look like a budget case in the slightest, does it? And I really like dark tinted glass. I know not everyone does, but let's be honest, your cable management probably could be improved, right? Mine too. And I like that if you have dark tempered glass, then it kind of takes away from what you can see and allows all of your RGB to sing. So yes, if you're going for like a matte black everything, okay, it's probably not gonna look quite as good because you won't be able to see in as much. Obviously there are low loads of cases on the market and I'd say that this one is probably the most boxy of the lot but it's just timeless and it allows your hardware to do all of the talking while still allowing for loads of cooling and there's a big gap at the bottom as well uh, so you can put your fans at the bottom allow your graphics card to breathe that's definitely the trend this year towards aesthetics while still having better cooling as well I really like this and I think for $90 it offers a lot I mean how many $90 cases have you seen recently that sort of look and feel like this as well really really impressive gear seekers as well have actually done like a special special like collaboration special edition with Montec on the King 95. They're calling this the King 95 Ultra. Very, very limited units of this will be sold, but you can see we've got this different color on the top here. This is more of like a silver effect. And you also get this GPU sag bracket here that says gear seekers on it. So like small, subtle details, pretty cool. Pricing on this is question mark, question mark, question mark. So who knows exactly what this is going to be, but obviously quantities are going to be pretty limited. Something else that's going to be quite interesting, especially if you do want to look for like a, I don't want to say entry level case, but definitely something that's more affordable, but still doesn't really compromise when it comes to aesthetics is this one. It's called the XR and they've got this mock-up here without anything in that you can really sort of see inside. This colour is quite interesting. It's almost like a pinky copper. I believe as well colours are still undecided so again let us know down in the comment section below what you think. I like this. I'd be interested to see if you could do like a black version and this colour. I think that would really pop. This is a fully completed system though so you can see we've still got glass on both the front and on the side but then the decent ventilation from these side fans. You can also put some extra fans down the bottom I believe if you do want to have extra as I say ventilation because you've got the mesh down the bottom but the main thing about this really is going to be the price because how much do you think a case like this is going to cost. Would you say $63.90? Because I wouldn't. I mean, the amount of case that you can get with Montec for the money is always insane. And again, build quality on this, really, really good. Seems to be getting better and better. Obviously, you're always going to have compromises, but my number one thing I love about Montec is the value. What you actually get for them for what you're spending, it allows you to put any extra money into the hardware itself. I should say as well, there's also another version of the XR. This one actually looks quite different. This, again, is a mesh performance version with a little bit of wood on the top and the bottom. And they're asking for feedback on this. I said it would be nice if you could maybe go for like two, like 160 fans or something like that, incorporate a little bit more wood on this. But again, it's kind of like nice subtle details to keep everything nice and minimal while still having plenty of airflow in a more affordable chassis. I don't know what the cheapest case that does wood is at the moment, but maybe this is a strong contender. One final case for you, this is the Air 200A RGB. As you can see, this is definitely a little bit more compact, a little a bit more stubby. I always like this because personally, it's, if you're going to have a PC in your desk, as we keep saying, I think it's nice to have it a little bit smaller so it's not taking up as much room. You can have like bigger keyboard spreads, bigger monitors, speakers, things like that. But yes, this is definitely a more open airflow orientated design. You've got the mesh on the front, you've got the side ventilation here, and it should again be available in a couple of different colors. But they've got an all white build here, which is looking pretty nice with one of their 
all-in-one liquid coolers as well with plenty of RGB. I mean, actually, we can talk about the liquid coolers because these are new. And again, you probably guessed, it's all about value. It's trying to maximize the performance that you can get but still not costing an arm and a leg. So the ones that we've got here, they're called the Hyperflow ARGB. They come in 240, 360. There'll be some future versions as well that have like performance orientated fans. But if you want to get into, I guess, a more attractive gaming PC while still having uh, loads of performance for your CPU cooler, it's gonna be a great way to do it on a budget because these are gonna be coming in at $96 for a 360 ARGB cooler and an 85, almost at 84, $85 uh, cooler for the 240. So I think that's very impressive, but I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. And again, please give us feedback. One of the other things I love about Montec is that they do actually listen to feedback, not from just myself, but obviously everyone that buys these cases. So if there's anything that you like here or anything maybe you think should be revised, any color suggestions, please do let us know down in the comment section below and I assure you Montec will see it. Really hope you've enjoyed this video though. Smash the like button if you've enjoyed it. Get yourself subscribed and we'll catch you in the rest of our Computex 2024 coverage. Bridge.